Hello everyone, welcome again. In this Python for Testers tutorial, we are going to learn about the operator precedence in Python. So Python operator precedence is important because whenever we will be using the arithmetic operators and using the operators, whether it's general Python programming or the automation, if we are dealing with the numbers, then we might have to understand about the precedence in which these operators will be evaluated for getting you the result, right? So in which order these addition, subtraction, multiplication, uh, exponentiation operators will be performed, that's what is the operator precedence means in Python. So we need to understand what is the precedence. So as you would have seen in the mathematics, that board mass rule applies, right? So you evaluate the mathematical expression based on the board mass rule. So in the programming language, the operator precedence is similar and it's a rule which defines in the way the operators will be evaluated. So let's create a quick file so I'll create a Python file and name it as operator underscore precedence and hit enter. So a new file got created and I'll explain about the operator precedence in this particular file. Now prior to that, let's go ahead and see what is the operator precedence in Python. So simply go to google.com and search for Python operator precedence, right? So this one and just open this official Python documentation. So here, if you go to the operator precedence, let me find out operator precedence. So this is the section here, and this is the table that describes the precedence or the operator precedence in Python. So from the lowest precedence, so this is the least binding, so this is the least binding, and to the highest precedence. Now, this list contains the overall list of the operators, but we will be more interested into the arithmetic operations and understand the operator precedence. But keep this table handy and this table will help you to understand what is the precedence of operators and how the operators will be evaluated in real time. So if you see, this is the uh, least precedence, so Boolean or and not are the least precedence or the assignment operator is the least precedence. And if you go to the expressions, basically the um, the parenthesis is the highest uh, precedence. Okay, so after the parenthesis, you go the uh, you you get the exponentiation, positive, negative, multiplication, division, etc. And whatever operators are mentioned in the same line, that means they are having the same precedence, and they will be evaluated from left to right. Right. So if these operators are mentioned in a line, they will be evaluated from left to right if there is no higher precedence operator apart from these. OK, so let's understand these operator precedence in action and I will go through this particular table and show you how the precedence will apply. So, for example, if I have some expression within the parenthesis that will be evaluated first. OK, so let me go to PyCharm and we'll simply say print. I will eva evaluate all the numbers within the print statement. OK, so say for example, I want to add the numbers. OK, so I want to add two numbers, I want to add eight plus five and then minus two. So if I want to print this, so here there is a plus operator and the minus minus operator as well. Now, if we go to this particular table, the plus and minus addition and subtraction have the same precedence. So what this means is that they, they, if they are both present, then they'll be evaluated from left to right. So what me, this means is that first five plus eight will be evaluated. So five plus eight is 13 and then minus two, which will be 11. So if I run this operator precedence file, you will see 11 has been printed. Now, if I change this precedence to five minus eight plus, two, you will see first five minus eight will be evaluated and then two will be added into it. So you can see the minus one, right? So five minus eight is minus three plus two, which is minus one, right? So that's how the operators will be evaluated. Now, if I specifically 
won't evaluate the plus or the minus then what I have to do is say for example I want to evaluate the minus first prior to the plus then I can put these into the parenthesis so if I want to evaluate 8 minus 2 first so I can put it in the parenthesis because parenthesis has the highest or higher precedence so whatever is within the parenthesis will be evaluated first and then the next level of the operator precedence so in this particular case 8 minus 2 will be evaluated and then will be added to 5 so 8 minus 2 is 6 plus 5 is 11 right so that's how the precedence works now if I have a different number here say for example I have 4 and then to the power 2 so exponentiation operator and then also plus 4 and then minus 2 right so in this case clearly exponentiation operator will have the higher precedence so exponentiation has higher precedence over plus and minus so that's that will be evaluated first and then plus and minus will be evaluated so in this particular case first what will happen is 4 to the power of 2 so that will be evaluated then the plus and then the minus so if I run this it will return me the relevant so 4 to the power 2 is 16 plus 4 is 20 minus 2 is 18 All right so that's the operator precedence and how the operators will be evaluated within Python so this is very simple topic but very important to understand based on this table you can quickly understand or uh, the evaluation how the operators are being evaluated and what will be the precedence of operators within python okay so anything you want to evaluate any expression you want to evaluate first prior to any other operator better use it use the parenthesis and use those expressions within the parenthesis okay so in this particular case say for example I want to evaluate 4 minus 2 first I will use the parenthesis first right so in this case what will happen is 4 minus 2 will be evaluated first so this once this is evaluated it will be 2 and then 4 to the power 2 will be evaluated so the uh, the evaluation result will be uh, 16 and then plus 2 so answer will be 18 again right so in this particular case let me change it a little bit so that answer is a little bit different so that you can see that so in this case say for example I want to evaluate 2 plus 4 first so this is 6 right and now 4 to the power 6 and then minus 2 will be done so in this case if I run this you will see the answer is completely different because 4 plus 2 uh, 4 uh, plus 2 is 6 and 4 to the power 6 and then minus 2 right so this is what the result is so in the arithmetic operation or any python program just follow this operator precedence sheet eventually you will be memorizing all of this as you practice more and more then you will be able to understand what is the precedence and how you will be using the operators and in what order of precedence they will be evaluated or the arithmetic numbers or numbers will be evaluated and final result will be given so that's all for this tutorial about the uh, operator precedence in python hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching